Welcome. In this video, we're going to discuss the negation of the conjunction. Let's suppose we have the two simple statements, P, it is sunny, and Q, I am riding my bike. Then the conjunction of those two simple statements would be, it is sunny, and I am riding my bike. So what would the negation of the conjunction be? Well, one way to write it would be, it is not the case that it is sunny and I am riding my bike. But that sounds a bit awkward, so let's think. Can we think of a simpler, equivalent way of saying that? Well, if it's not the case that it is sunny and I am riding my bike, then it must be the case that either it is not sunny or I am not riding my bike. Now to make sense of this in the truth table, we locate the places where the conjunction is false. And where is the conjunction false? Well, it occurs precisely where it is not sunny, which would be where P is false, or where I am not riding my bike, which would be where Q is false. So it is not the case that it is sunny and I am riding my bike is equivalent to it is not sunny or I am not riding my bike. Now in order to actually prove this, we could write these statements in symbolic form and then show that each of the statements have exactly the same truth values. So let's go ahead and do that. For the statement on the top, we could say it is not the case that it is sunny, which is P, and I am riding my bike, which is Q. So the negation of P and Q. What we're claiming is that this is equivalent to it is not sunny, which would be not P, or I am not riding my bike, which would be not Q. Now, in order to actually prove that these two statements are equivalent to each other, we can make use of truth tables. We'll make the truth table for the left side, the truth table for the right side, and show that the truth tables are the same. So let's start with the left-hand side. First of all, P and Q, we'll fill that in with true, false, false, false. That comes from the third column of our table here. And then we want to form the negation of that. So the negation of true is false. The negation of false is true. The negation of false is true. The negation of false is true. So our answer for the left-hand side is false, true, true, true. Let's see what we get for the right-hand side. First of all, we'll start off with the negation of P. Well, for P, we have true, true, false, false. So the negation will be false, false, true, true. For Q, we have true, false, true, false, so the negation will be false, true, false, true. Now we're ready to form the disjunction. And remember that disjunction is only false if both statements are false. So in the first row, we have both statements are false. Everywhere else, we have at least one true, so the rest of the values will be true. So we compare our two columns, we see that they are identical. That proves that these two statements are equivalent. So to find the negation of a conjunction, we essentially distribute the negation symbol through the parentheses. The negation of P is not P. The negation of AND is OR. And the negation of Q is not Q. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but this looks kind of similar to a result that we had from sets. Remember when we had A intersect B and we wanted to find the complement of that? What did we do? Well, we in essence distributed the complement. We found the complement of A and then we formed the union with the complement of B. And this was known as De Morgan's Law for sets. Well, what we just wrote down here is De Morgan's Law for logic. So both of them are De Morgan's Law. 